side action, and we're just about set to kick off. And now we bring you the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Both teams are lining up for the kickoff, and we're just about set to get this one underway. He really got a hold of that kick. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Caught in a big hit. He stopped in his tracks. Four yards gain. You don't have to throw it deep to have success. Any sort of completion can help boost an offense's confidence. From their own 29-yard line. Second down. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Call it a gain of four yards. Third down. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. To be successful, you've got to be able to come through on third down, and that's just what they did with that big run. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 44. Gets it out quick, and it's going the other way. It looked like the pass was sailing out of reach, but he just climbed the ladder and made a spectacular interception. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 48. Three down, three down. Mike seven, Mike seven. Oklahoma, hut. And down he goes at the 47-yard line. A one-yard gain by the halfback. Yeah, it was a short gain, but a nice tackle there by the junior who stepped up in traffic and made a nice play. He's a solid blocker, but as he showed right there on third down, he also has soft hands for a big guy. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 36. Nice run there. at the 20 and he's taken down at about the 17 yard line from the 17 yard line it's first down fires quickly touchdown was a well-drawn-up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. When you're in the huddle and the post route is called, the quarterback and the wide receiver get excited because they know that there's a chance for a big play. Here, the offense does a good job of protecting the quarterback, allowing the quarterback enough time to make that big throw. And, of course, the receiver has the speed and the, and the hands to make the play for the touchdown. Alabama lines up for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Alabama's looking right now like they've got all three phases working for them so far. Yep, it's early, but they are in control of this game. The defense is, seems to have a very good feel for what they're doing out there. The offense moved the ball down the field. Special teams, everything right now is really in sync for this team. Complete.
incomplete. Brought down, nothing doing. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on their own 28. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Got it and brought down immediately. the middle for a nice game the offense here picks up the first down by running the football and i really think that they gave the quarterback there an option at the line of scrimmage to run or to pass depending on what he saw from the defense the defense that time looked to be out of position i think they were anticipating a pass quarterback recognized that made the check at the line and they were able to run the football for a first down that brings up second and one short yardage situation here it's second down and one Quick strike to the receiver. He's tackled around the 40-yard line. That's a game of 15 on the play. First down. Here we go, here we go. Tight right, tight right. Three down, three down. Mike 42, Ready. Mike 42. 180. Right. Hey, kill it, motion me out. Run, 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 run. Got the corner. He's at the 30. And he shoved out of bounds around the 13-yard line. So with that run, they pick up another first. Just a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. From the 13-yard line, first down. Tackle at the four. Great job by the running back, and that's a gain of nine. That'll make it second and inches. And this play is number eight on the drive. My game, my game. Ready, green That's a great tackle at the three-yard line. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. It's power against power right now on the field. Both teams have their jumbo sets out there. Touchdown, Bulldogs! This is what an offensive lineman hopes for. An opportunity to impose his will on the defense. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he converts the extra point. A nine-play, 75-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They're ready to start another drive, hoping to duplicate the results of the last one, which ended in a touchdown. You know, when this defense went over to the sideline based on the way they've been playing so far, this defense coordinator has got to be livid. Uh, he's got to get in their face. He's got to challenge them. He's got to get their emotions going. Because when you play defense, it's not just about X's and O's. It's about attitude and playing with a lot of confidence. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 27. goes out of bounds right around the 30. That's a game of three on the play. That'll make it 35. And they make the stop at the 35. That's good for a game of five yards. First down. First and ten. Ball on the 35-yard line. Bring him down right around the 46 yard line. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Got it. And he goes down quickly.
We played one quarter. We're even at seven in this one. Welcome back. Tight game here in the second quarter as we begin play. Tight end's got another one. Tackle made at the 28-yard line. Nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. First and 10. Ball on the 28-yard line. Play. And he's tackled at about the 19 yard line. That brings up second and one. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Brought down at the 11. Nice job here by the quarterback of putting some air underneath this pass and letting his receiver catch up with it for a nice game. From the 11-yard line, first down. Completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. Here's play number 10 on the drive. He's going to try and scramble. Slides down to the ground. Gain of three yards. That makes it third and seven. And here's another third down. Mike seven, Mike seven. Set, he gets hit out of bounds at the one. Brooks picks up seven yards with that catch. That makes it fourth and inches. Alabama could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks up, and they tack on three points. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Nice kick, plenty of distance. They line up to kick this one away. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. White gets it on the counter. Tackled after a decent pickup. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Runs it right. Nice pickup. The thing I love about this guy is he can throw the ball, he can run it, and that's hard to stop. He's at midfield. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. That makes it first and 10. From the 47-yard line, it's first down. They get nice yardage on that run. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Larry, Larry. Hey, Mike's 42. Mike's 42. Ready. Green He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. That's a gain of one on the play. Third down. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. He's at the 30. He's taken down at about the 29-yard line. First down. Roger, Roger. He's at the 20. And down he goes around the 15-yard line. That's a game of 14 yards on the play. 
This is the eighth play of this drive. Got a receiver and he dropped it. That's just a great play to separate the ball from the receiver. He'll be feeling that hit tomorrow. From the 15 yard line, it's second down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's a gain of five on the play. That'll make it third and five. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Mike 42, Mike 42. Throws complete and he's hit right away. Fourth down. This isn't much more than an extra point. Georgia is down three and looking to tie it up. He gets it up and it splits the uprights. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. In the shotgun and five wide out. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. Seven yards there. Good decision here. Nice dump off. It's only seven yards, but the offense will take that play every time. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. And they got it. George is going to take their first time out of the half. That'll make it fourth and ten. Jackson will be the return man. Oh, excellent punt. Jackson takes it to 28, makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Dumps it complete to the halfback, over the middle. And he tackles him hard at the 33. That's a seven-yard loss. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. Second and long. Ball on the 33-yard line. He throws right. And he's got it. And he's taken down at the 32. That makes it first and ten. Now it's first and ten after the big pass play. Lost the run, lost the run. Mike eight, Mike eight. And he's going to lose big yardage. He's tackled immediately after the catch. The Bulldogs call a timeout. That's their second of the half. That makes it second and 14. Mike eight. Throws it out and it falls incomplete. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 22. Ready! Scrambling around. He gets sacked on the play. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. And they could really put their opponent in bad field position with a good punt here.
booming kick. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. And he carries the ball for a nice game. So we've played two quarters and a 10-10 tie in this game. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. This game's been everything we anticipated it being. Each team matching each other blow for blow. Just a one possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? Well, it, it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two games ma match up the hype. And we, we talk about it all week and how big this game is. And it's going to come down to players making plays. And, you know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground. And which one doesn't give that up? A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and, and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. You can do everything right and you can execute right, but it just takes that one misstep, that one turnover to, to really put you in a bad position or a bad situation that can determine this game. That's what it looks like it's going to. Both teams executing well. Who's going to make a big mistake? Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know. Something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. I mean, we've got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. All right, guys, Number welcome back. Second half turn. just about set to start, and we're dead even. He just drills this one. And they can forget about returning this one. Now's when you start to approach each drive, thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. They go to the left for a nice game. Game seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. He's tackled at the 32-yard line. No game. Third down. to around the 42. That's a game of 10 on the First down. It's first and 10. Here we go. Ball Mike on the 42. Seven. Mike, seven. He's at midfield. Great concentration to pull it in. Tackle around the 39-yard line. He's on the run. And they make the stop right around the 34. That brings up second and five. Second down and five. Ball on the 34. Now he's scrambling. Decides to tuck it in and he's got space. And he hits him hard at the 13-yard line. That makes it first and ten. From the 13-yard line, first down. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. Touchdown, Alabama! Oh! 
A good football team has to consistently be able to capitalize when they're in the red zone. And he adds the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 27-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He passes it. They'll bring him down at the 48-yard line. From their own 48-yard line. First down. He has some room. He makes his way out to about the 35. First down. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Now he tries to buy some time, and he's going to be sacked. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. Second and 12. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 37. Again with the run. Tackle made at the 34-yard line. Call it a gain of three yards. That'll make it third and nine. Larry, Larry. Mike 42, Mike 42. Right here. Larry, Larry. Pass, pass. Goes right. Picked off. Miller makes the interception. Not a good decision there. Why do you even throw that pass? Well, it's a good job by the corner of sitting back and reading the quarterback's eyes. Good job of disguising coverage as well. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 42. Alabama is up a score. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. Makes it second and eight. Complete. He's got room. He's out of bounds at around the 48-yard line. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Down right around the 46 yard line. That'll make it fourth and six. Scott awaits the snap. It's away and it's a booming punt. This punt bounces into the end zone and this will be a touchback. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Knocked out of bounds at the 22-yard line. From their own 22-yard line. Second down. And he's tackled at the 34. 
That makes it first and ten. I don't even know why this team showed up. They bring him down in the backfield. I'll give the defense all the credit here. They had that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. From their own 32-yard line, second down. Fires out quick. It's picked off. He's at the 40. He's taken down at the 37. Great catch by the linebacker, but not a smart throw from the quarterback. It didn't look like the quarterback even saw the linebacker hanging in that area. It pays to be in the right spot at the right time. From the 37-yard line, it's first down. Alabama is up by a touchdown. He's scrambling. And down he goes, right around the 32-yard line. That brings up second and five. And he's taken down around the 20-yard line. From the 20 yard line. First down. On the ground with the tailback. Tackled after a decent pickup. That makes it second and six. Quick throw, almost intercepted. This just shows you that you don't need to be sacking the quarterback to disrupt the passing game. Third down, six to go. Ball on the 15. Quick throw. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. That makes it first and goal. We head to the final quarter, and we've got a great game on our hands. 17-10, Alabama. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Alabama is up seven. Touchdown tie. Still a long ways to go here in the fourth quarter, but that score has certainly put them in a great position to win the football game. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. If he could start this night all over again, I'm sure he would. Well, at this point, taking care of the football has to be their number one priority. If they want to get back in this game, if you can't take care of the ball, you just have no chance. He doesn't have a whole lot of time left to redeem himself. Well, let's see if he can shake off that pick that he tossed last time out. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. That makes it second and 10. Second and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. He goes out of bounds at the 28. That's good for a game of three yards. In the shotgun and five wideouts. And a 
quick throw. He's tackled at the 29. Oh, excellent punt. And he's taken down at the 36-yard line. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Quick pass. Tackle around the 46-yard line. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Offense lines up in a five-wide set of defense, anticipating pass here. Throws falling back and got his man. And they make the stop at the 46-yard line. Makes the tackle at the 46-yard line. That makes it second and six. Second down and six. Ball on the 46. Scrambling around. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. They'll bring him down at the 38-yard line. That makes it first and ten. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And he's stopped behind the line. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. From the 40-yard line, it's second down. They run left, and he'll lose yardage. to his tailback. He's knocked out of bounds at the 33. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. Just under three to go in regulation. He gets it up, and he got it. They line up to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time out. Throws it in a hurry. And he's tackled right away. Tackle. 
Check Thunder! Hey. Thunder! Hey, check 24. Watch 24. Just under two minutes in the game. Just throws this one away. Second down, 10 to go. Ball in the 48. They come out in an empty backfield. Pulls in and he's in the open field. Gets it out quick and it's going the other way. That's now four extra possessions they've given their own offense with these picks. Think about that. That's a formula that'll win you a lot of ball games. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 45-yard line. He makes it to the 45-yard line. No game. That makes it second and ten. On the run. And they'll get him in the backfield. the end of the ball game and our final score in this one 27 to 10 Alabama that's it for this presentation of NCAA football 14 for Kirk Herbstreet I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks and we'll see you soon